Right. So my name is Dr. Afolavi Olatunji. I want to say you are welcome. All right. We begin our teaching series with a very interesting topic titled Discipline Your Thinking for Great Success. Matter of fact, there are three keys to discipline your thinking for greater success. And we will be talking more or focus more on results. Come on, somebody looking at me, watching me live right now, is saying, Afolari, how do you mean by result? You see, one thing that most people really don't know, a lot of people are just busy. You need to understand about being busy and being effective. I want you to write that down. There is a clear difference from being busy and being effective. You see, you could be busy, busy, busy. Some people are even busy, 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 busy going or busy gone. But when you are effective, it's when you are result-oriented. When you are effective, that is when you can generate more results. All right? Somebody once said, at the end of it all, result is what plays out. So whatever you think you're doing, and you think you're deceiving somebody else, at the end of it all, it is result that will play out. You see, at the end of the game, when you see you know, those football players, you know, football, yeah, we call, you know, in America, they call it soccer. You know, at the end of that game time, it is the result that separates the winner from the loser. So result will always play out. So you need to be focused more on results and not activities. Be more focused on results and not activities. Some people want to impress people and they say, you know what? I just got these activities going for me. You're just everywhere. You don't want them to know what you're up to. You just want to give excuses to some things. And those activities ain't materializing into anything or monetary equivalent or giving you that kind of, you know, creating that lifestyle that you want. You just want them to know or trying to impress people or trying to impress somebody thinking that when they know that I'm busy with something, they, they, they would count me very seriously. You see, the only thing you don't want to deceive, I want you to write this down, all right? The, the, the only person you cannot deceive is yourself. You can deceive every other person, but the only person you cannot deceive is going to be you. So you cannot deceive yourself because at the end of it all, you need to know that result will play out. Be clear about the results you are trying to accomplish. You must have to be clear. What kind of result do I want? This business that I'm doing, where am I going? You know, I use uh, my good friend, uh, Coach Dan. I talk about him and I said, this guy, you know, we had a chat and he was telling me, he said, uh, from this period, I think he gave himself, he gave himself about 12 months uh, period into his new business and he said, I want to be able to attract about $500,000 into his life and through his business. And he said, this is the roadmap. And this is how he's gonna do it. This is how he's gonna be celebrated in order for him to be able to achieve this certain X, Y, Z amount of money. You see, you have to be clear on the kind of result you wanna accomplish. You see, all big performing people in the world are result-oriented people. They are not just busy body guys. They are not just people going from one point to the other just to know that they are all doing that. They are result-oriented while losers are underachievers. I want you to write it down. Losers are underachievers while all peak performing people are result-oriented. Losers' activity, you know, they, 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 they create activities around themselves most of the time. They work very hard and not focus on results. So I really want to encourage you to be more focused on result. You see, result is what justify and what separate the men from the boys. At the end of it all, results will separate winners from losers. So I want to really charge you. When you look at these three components, three keys to helping you to discipline your thinking to achieve greater success, you will see that every of these keys matters and they are tailored for your own greater level. I want to tell you again, first, you got to be decisive. Make that decision. You need another level of decision to correct the one that you have at the moment. The second is that you must have vision or you must create a goal for yourself and your life. 
And the third is that you really must be result oriented, not activities. All right. So please, when you put this, you now need to know that some certain question is going to pop up. You want to ask yourself when you are working hard, you're doing everything so hard. You just want to ask yourself this question. You know, what result is expected of me? What result is expected of me? It's you that is asking yourself. Nobody's going to ask you. Don't think your teacher, your mentor, somebody's going to ask you. You, you demand it of yourself. Demand this question. What result is expected of me? If I commit, if I commit from this period to this period. Now, I want you to note that. If I commit from this period to this period, what result is expected of me? And why am I still currently on this particular income? Why am I still on this particular income? Because you need to know, if you are any so, 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 X, Y, Z amount of money at the moment, and you like, you need to challenge yourself, why am I on it? I need another level of income. My income should be, you know, should be upscale. I should have more. I should be able to earn more. You see, you can earn more until you become more valuable. You're not going to be able to earn more until you become more valuable. The more valuable you become, the more you be, you're going to be able to attract into your life, into your business, and every day of your life. So please ask yourself this question, all right? What result is expected of me? And the second one is, why am I still earning this amount of money in my business? So when you're able to ask yourself this question, then you now start thinking of the solution. Now, the solution to this is first, you need to write down your goals. You need to write down the things you want. You need to be able to identify the things that you want for yourself. What do I want from now to now? And you need to now separate your major goals from your minor goals. When I say major goals are the ones that you know that, see, I must have to. It, it, it doesn't matter how long it takes. I must have to. One of my major goals then was for me to be able to purchase a house. I, I wasn't thinking that it's going to happen. But it took me a number of years. I, I tell you something. It took me way over four years. I've been writing down my goals before I was able to purchase one. <laughs> Can you imagine that? It took me that long. But, you know, God did because I was following up my goals and I followed it to later. So, and I identified my major goal from the one that, uh, from the rest of the goal. So please be able to identify that. And what will you do differently? Okay, you must be able to identify what you want to do differently that is going to help you to achieve those goals. You can't deceive yourself in that. What am I going to do differently? Someone once said, it's insanity to do the same thing over and over and expect a different result. You can't stop. You see, you've been doing it. You've been doing it every time. You're getting the same result. So identify something you want to do differently. So today, I mean today, to be able to help you achieve these goals. And again, you need to also know that you must review uh, your goals every day. Now, reviewing it, it will help you to create what I call a simple affirmation. Now, you got to be able to say this affirmation to yourself in order for you to be able to, you know, bring your subconscious mind and your conscious mind, including your analytical mind, in alignment to achieving your goal. I hope you got value again this morning, and I hope you've learned a lot on the theory ways you can discipline your thinking to achieve greater success. You see, here at the West Secret Mastermind Mentorship class, what we do is to be able to educate, equip, and enrich you with all the necessary resources, information, techniques, including the action plan you need, just like we've just shared with you, right? So as for you to be able to live your, you know, your up to your full, full potentials in life. And I'm going to be, you know, honored, and I mean, I'm going to be there for you, uh, to work with you and then ensure that you're able to live up to your full potentials in life that God has destined for you. All right, guys, this is where we're going to call it a day. I hope you got value again. Remember, I'm your friend, your host, uh, your, your success partner, Dr. Afolabi Olatunji. We'll see you again, same time, same later, the same class, West Secret, Master My Mentorship. Take care. God bless you. And I see you on the winning side. Remember, as you go about your day, I encourage you not just to count the day, but to do what? Always make the day count because that is how winner make things happen. All right? Focus more on results. 
and not activity. Bye for now. Take care.